Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Sons of Valhalla. It is a side-scrolling hack-and-slash sort of base-building RPG. If you've ever seen Kingdom, it's like that, but you actually have a character that you control and fight with, uh, which is super exciting for me just because I love Kingdom. I think it's a great game, but I feel kind of disconnected from the gameplay more often than not. And so being able to actually get in and, and get fighting sounds really cool to me. Uh, but, I guess without further ado, we're just going to dive right in. It act, it has nothing to do with the Kingdom developers, I should probably mention that. It's just very very clearly inspired, at least partly by. It feels like a side-scrolling RTS, and there are not many of those. Hello, brother. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. I hear you're doing well in Father's footsteps. I'm sorry I left in such a hurry after Father's burial. But I had to look for her. I had to save her because it is my fault. I wasn't there, and I couldn't protect her. I dream of her often. Bad dreams. I see her before me. I see our village in flames and Valgar taking her away. Fisherman told me he left for England, and that he took many slaves with him. She is still alive. I can feel it. Brother, we leave today. You won't hear from me for a while. I will find Valgard, and he will pay for what he did to Father and the people of our village. He will pay for every life he took with pain and suffering. I promise you. Thorold, Thorold, wake up. Boy, the pixel art on this game is solid. But I've been saying that about a lot of games. All right, it looks rad. Okay, so I'm here. Oh, this is very Kingdom. For, frankly, better across the board. Okay, enter gate. Oh, repair building, restore save points, nothing to repair. Select cancel. Okay. I can build, but I should talk to this guy. Learn skills. Home sweet home. Units will heal faster in your fortress. Stackable. I have a singular rune. Units that are automatically healed in your fortress. We also have... Units inflict bloody wounds on the enemies. Enemies suffer damage for a period of time. Interesting, but I should probably grab home sweet home for the time being. Uh, let's see, we also have, oh, minions. So, we were on minions, we also have economy. Uh, more time to capture a strategic point, melee, ranged, cool. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure this out as I go along. So what can I build? Barracks, fishing hut, woodcutter hut. So I've got 5 out of 10, we're decent on wood and some other things. Can't do a blacksmith or a siege workshop. Uh, let's see. Provides you with food, food to train more units, and woodcutter hut. So let's start that. We also have the mead hall. What's in here? So what can we do? Fresh fish replenishes 5 HP, 15, 20, 30. Upgrade building, but I need more money. Units 5 to 10, building sites 2 to 4. Okay. Now let's get the woodcutter hut as well. I don't necessarily know if these are more practical, but what else can I do about it? Destroy building, fishing, storage. Okay, this is huge. And production speed. Okay, I have enough money for both. Yeah, we're, we're just going to kind of expand. Looks like we get resources over time, storage, production time. Okay, cool. We're out of wood, but that's fine. What else do I have? Okay. Looks like we've just got some regular humans here. I'm, I'm glad my people seem to heal. Now we have an enemy group. Can I actually do anything about this? Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna accept that I'm gonna take some damage from this. My goal here is to do a big murder. If I hug the farmers, they can't really hit me that well.
Okay. Is there anything I can do with this? Open barrel. Open crate. Yeah, so it looks like we can loot them. But I might not be able to take them. We got a rune, though. Oh. Oh, and I'm, I'm taking it for myself. I don't know how to tell my boys to come up here, but at least I can hoard... Hoard? At least I can take this this spot. Let's see. It doesn't look like I can do any building with it. And none of my men are coming. Oh, that... Okay, that's bow and arrow. I also have a fish. I see. Heals me a little bit. And we get an arrow back. So what do you have? Enter fishing hut. Well, we can learn a skill at the very least. So let's take a look at these. So I can learn any of these. Eat. I am right below the kitchen. And the people up there really like to just toss things around. Oh, you are automatically healed in your fortresses. That's actually really huge. What about this? Enemy takes longer. Uh, let's see. Extra storage. More loot in chests, more wood. I think I'm going to go with healing hands. Give me that option. Okay, let's go to the mead hall. So I need gold. Lots of gold. Before I can do anything. Well, I guess I could go fighting. Yeah, I can repair, I can destroy. What do I use the extra fish on? Or does the extra fish... Can I sell it? Where's the woodcutter hut? Oh, okay. So we get, um... Food and resources on a daily basis. Interesting. Well, I guess if I heal, I'm just gonna go out raiding. Unless we didn't actually take this location. We did, or at least I thought we did. But they seem to have taken it from me. Okay, now it's contested. I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna have to run. I don't think I can fight these guys on my own. Oh, I, I have a dodge roll. I, are there any other controls that I don't know about? Controls. Okay, range attack, pause, move, command, command menu, use ration, dodge attack, interact. Oh. What do we have? Follow me, retreat, attack. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna roll back here, kill these guys. Get some, get some easy money at the very least. And then we're going to heal up. So, it does look like we are getting cash. I wish surplus food was just sold. Okay. Follow me. Tell them to follow me. And we're going to go on an adventure. I'm going to see if I can take this down. Oh. Okay, if I tell them to retreat, do they go back? Because we've got a second raiding party, and I'd rather fight them at my gate. Okay. My goal here is more or less to get behind their back line and do a big murder. Looks like I don't get any money. Uh, let's see. Until they're done? Not entirely sure. Well, I'm just going to heal up with my fellows looks like they've properly take, taken that location, but here's the question. Does that mean... What if I can tell them to just attack? Attack! Cool. I wonder if they restock by taking this. They probably don't. Ah. 
at least get some wood. Okay, and we can take this together. I don't know if this is going to help me. It doesn't look like there's any any more loot. Let's see. We're, we're still getting some money. I'll have to figure out how to increase my proper income a little bit more. Okay. The chest. There we go, we get a rune, rune stone from just killing a dude. Okay. I don't want to lose too many men. Okay. Well, uh, I think I, I think I lost one, one man. Can I take this before it gets contested? No, I could be wrong. We, <laughs> we might actually have two guys here. I think they're layered up. I think, I think we got lucky. Well, I should probably get back behind lines because I'm going to die if I if I attempt anything. Okay. I guess I'll heal. Okay. I guess this went poorly for me. There we go. Because I've got two archers behind my gate. Okay, gotta kill these guys. And then we run back, heal up. And then this guy's got a shield and is clobbering me a little bit, but I think we're fine. Okay, so that went poorly, I lost most of my dudes. Let's see, learn skills. I think we need the barracks. Instead, let me take a look at economy real quick. If any of these get me money. More loot, buildings cost less wood. Well, that's not helpful. Uh, let's see, range really isn't much of a thing for me. The minions. What else do we have? Can dodge an enemy with a forward roll. Max storage capacity for all resources. What about this one? Oh, enemies just drop more loot. I guess we'll just do that for the time being. Unfortunately, I think we're out of luck, at least for a little while. That costs. That costs. But I, I can upgrade the mead hall. Finally. So this will let us get a barracks. If only we had money. Okay, because I need 100 for a barracks. Blacksmith Siege Workshop. Ooh. Okay. And I lost... I lost three of my boys. It turns out you can't tell them to retreat from anywhere. You have to tell them to retreat. Only at specific spots. That's fish. Huh. Well, let's see what happens when I die. I'm flailing a little bit because I'm trying to figure out what the, the bounds of this game are. I think starting with the production was actually a poor idea. So what does this do for me, now that I'm dead? Welcome, Thorold Olofsson. I'm Hell, ruler of the Underworld. This is my realm. I've been watching you, and it appears to me—it appears to me that you stand for a good cause. 
Besides, your fighting skills impress me. Your earthly life would end here, but I have a proposition to make. Defeat me in battle and I'll send you back. Let's begin. Okay. I don't know what her plan was. Ow. But I gotta get my stamina back. rations I this is not a this is not what I was expecting in the slightest at least we can get some stamina back but unfortunately I haven't leveled my stamina like at all Or anything of the sort. Okay, stay away from explosions. Can I do anything over here? No. I cannot. I got her. Well fought, Thorold Olofsson. You deserve to live another day. I. So I guess I didn't lose. And we're still going. Hell yeah. I'm back. And nobody questions anything. Sick. Now I believe we do have an enemy group rolling in. But I have some money. Barracks. Okay. Now do I heal? I do not. But here's the other question. Am I deadly enough to just merc these guys on my own? Well, I mean, yes, on my own. Oh, looks like we've got another raiding party. I'm just gonna beat him into submission. There we go. Enter barracks. Destroy building, hit points, armor, attack speed, block chance. Swordsman, fighter. I don't know how to get archers, but at least we can get people now. And our money is better. Okay, cool. It looks like we can go up to a reasonable raiding party. I see. Requires 90 wood. Ooh, burnt through more of that than I thought. Well, what else can we do? I have fish. So that's attack speed. Looks like I'm going to need a lot more wood. So there's repair, but there's also the upgrade. Oh, unit production time. That's not that helpful. Well, one way or another. We didn't lose, and now I have a whole bunch of broskies to help me fight. And I'm a reasonable level. So here's a reasonable level. I have a reasonable amount of HP. These farmers actually really hurt. Yeah, I wonder if I should specifically just tell my dudes to follow me. I think that's the easiest answer here. But I'll just do uh, regular raids. Once per day to just clear this out, get, get a little bit of extra resources from the people I can fight there. And then snag this, which should, should, net me some money, some fish, and some other things. It's not much, but it's a living. Hopefully I can find another building that lets me actually produce cash. I really like this. I've always thought that the Kingdom games were a little, um, thin. Uh, let's see, I have no runes. Enter the mead hall, so what can we do? I see, so I can get more of these. 
Learn skills, woodcutter cut. But what else can I build? Uh, let's see. Refills your su supplies. Unless supplies are the thing on the left that I assume I assumed was gold. Okay, enter blacksmith. So, tar pot covers the enemy with tar, can be lit on fire. See, uh, simple arrow. Oh, these are my personal supplies. Oh. Okay. That's not terrible, but it's not amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's keep leveling up our HP. Oh. And this boat. I'm really curious about how the boat works. So, extra building sites, units, some other things. I like the idea of it. Execution is... Eh? Do we actually want the blacksmith? Maybe, yeah. No, I, I should keep them around. What do we need for this? Because that increases our production speed and our storage. And we might want to get the production amount. If I go back to the mead hall. Because yeah, these guys are coming and going like constantly. Huh. Were they coming by that fast earlier? Oh shoot, I lost two dudes. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, could burn fish on it. Looks like we lost one of each. I go back to the fishing hut. What do I need to upgrade this? Ah, a hundred lumber. Oof. I mean, not not actually that bad. We'll kind of be fine. I'm gonna go back to this and see if I can reclaim it again. Look, I'll take. I'll take the money. Hell yeah. If we want to take that other camp, it looks like we're just raiding for that other side. Which is fine. Uh, let's see. The other thing to take a look at. Well, I think the answer is we need to go... We need to go here. We need to level you up. We need a hundred for that. Ugh. Because that'll double the amount of income that we get from him. Here's the other question. Is there... Anything I can do for these guys? No, but it does look like we have multiple trading boats. Coming my direction. Okay. There we go. Increase the production amount. Okay, there we go. I should let my guys heal a bit. What do we need to do to fix the gate? A hundred? Uh, a hundred. I'm probably going to wait until that gets down a little further. Okay, so if we go back to the woodcutter hut, what else can we do? So, increased storage is kind of tempting, but I think I should just focus on production. Currently, my income is crap, and I need to buff that up. Blacksmith be gone. I love the idea of the blacksmith, but we clearly need wood in large quantities. Unfortunately, we don't get any of the resources back, which is rough. We can also train archers. But I think we need the woodcutter more than anything else. Okay, let's get rid of the archers quick. 
and get helping. Okay, cool. Oh, and because these things on the ground are extra ammo and javelins, but since I haven't unlocked the javelins yet, I can't use them. Okay, so we're going to come here. We're going to get a second woodcutter hut. And upgrade it. Because clearly, like, our biggest bottleneck here is just an utter lack of wood. And so if I have a whole bunch of it, this should go much faster. I like these big chonky dudes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We're out of resources for now. Let's see. Get another swordsman. We should probably upgrade our fisher as well. But I'm going to need a decent chunk of money for that. Let's snag another one of these guys. Oh, the shield fighters are expensive. That explains some things. Let's see. Block chance. Hack. There's some things. I think I want to just get up to a solid... Uh, oh... And the fighters are worth more. Okay, follow let's me. just tell them to follow me. Or not. Retreat. If we've got an enemy group coming in, we should we should not be doing that. Not at the moment. I think the enemy groups do get harder too, so I should probably m be much more aggressive. I think we want to take that, uh, that middle camp, if I can. Okay, I haven't lost anybody. My dudes are reasonably tough. Money is looking actually shockingly good. Yeah, let's... Let's pause until we've healed. Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna upgrade my fishing hut. Okay, now follow, follow me. Because we wanna we wanna get over here. I can probably clear this town myself. Okay, grab resources. Okay. Oh, I am going to need like a gazillion fish snacks. Come on, take it a little faster. I don't think we heal there, which is rough. But I have a much bigger crew this time around. Okay, I am dying. There are dudes behind me. Okay, let's retreat. I'll cover the exit. I think we only lost two guys there. Or one shield man. Hard to tell on that. Okay, and I get plenty of arrows. We might want to get our blacksmith back at some point.
Okay. Oh, I am out of stamina. Turns out being uh, extraordinarily low on HP is pretty rough for that. At least our resources are looking fantastic. Uh, let's see. Let that go for a bit. Well, that didn't work. Boy, I need to work on my own armor. Hopefully those barracks upgrades apply to me. That's a heavy and double attack. Wait, what? Oh. Those do exist. Okay. Well, it's fine. Maybe we do need siege engines. Okay. Grab him. Still haven't lost anybody else, which is good. The main problem is that I am an incredible weakling. Uh, I guess the easiest thing for me to do at the moment. Uh, let's see. Not learn skills. Mead Hall. There goes some of my meat. We had a better use for all of this wood. We either have tons of wood or no wood. There's not a whole lot of in between. Make another shield, man. Um, how do we want to do this? I mean, I think my guys are fine. Attack! Let's, let's see if we can go do some damage. This is how we get money, after all. I think my enemies attack at night. I, I think. I could be wrong. Okay, get some more money. Uh-oh. Is it enough? Oh. I'm feeling somewhat confident. It looks like we might have lost our archers. Is who we lost. In that in that last raid. No, I, I certainly have archers. do too much. I don't know how to do the heavy attack, but it's fine. We're making kind of some headway. We make money every time we do this. Not much, but it clears the flags uh, and lets them capture that one. Uh, let's see. And yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to sell wood, is there? No. Gosh, that next level is rough. Okay. I mean, ultimately, it's fine. I'd like another runestone is my easiest, easiest answer here. Just getting a couple of those would, would be kind of handy. There we go. Okay, kill them. Go back and heal. We want to recruit. 
both of those. Haven't lost too much. Now, I could level up our armor, for example. Like, our... Uh... Yeah. Now, we, we should level up all of our boys. Okay, what do we think? Attack? Attack. If we've got, like, one guy that's slightly injured, I don't think that matters too much. Let's see. I really wish my retreat. Well, he did. That's unfortunate. I have no idea who I lost. Well, it was either an archer or another swordsman. But yeah, there's an enemy wave a coming. There we go. Actually, a couple. And I'd prefer to fight them at my walls. Namely, where I can heal. I wish I could heal at, like, the villages or something. That would be kind of banger. I also just wish I could level up my, uh, my general income here. Okay, now do we think we're in a fine spot? I don't know. I don't know how much my guys are healing. Like I said, a couple of rune stones w Attack. would really drastically change things. I think those... I think my dudes have spears in their heads, which... Yeah, they'll figure it out. Ow. I guess that guy's not the real damage dealer. Whoop. Okay. Snag this. There we go. It'll just do what damage we can. The other thing is I could very much just chuck my guys into the meat grinder and just try and take down that wall. We'll probably have to do that at some point, but right now it kind of doesn't matter. Bird. Bird. Okay. Okay, wail on them from behind. Holy smokes, I am dying. And unfortunately, I don't think I have a block button like my minions do. Okay. I don't actually... Probably now's a good time to retreat. Yeah, they're getting low. We might lose a shield boy. Or not. I might get really lucky. Kill the two archers, and we get the extra money from recapturing this. And then, I don't know if those guys are gonna take it or if they're just they're just gonna take it. That's fine. Oh, cool. Back to this. We also have arrows, flaming arrows, javelins, and fire bombs. Ooh, I should probably actually snag my javelins. And I don't think we lost a, a single soul there. Well, I guess investing into armor and health. Ooh, building upgrade required. Sure. Okay, that's enough for now. My general job is to kill the archers. Okay. 
Okay, enter barracks. I'm dying. Okay, enter Mead Hall. We can get two more of those. It's like, I really want my money for the Mead Hall upgrade so I can get even more units. And even more building sites. Namely, archers and siege weapons. Ah, uh, let's see. But I, I just don't think that's going to work today. Uh, let's see. Are we in a good spot? Well, I guess I can eat some fish. Well, I think we're good. Charge. I really should use my javelins for some stuff. Is what it is. Okay. I'm gonna run up, capture this. Because they don't have to capture it fully. They just need to take it away from me, which is very easy. There's a little bit of extra cash. I think I think siege weapons will drastically change this. And if if this keeps going on for too long, I think what I'm probably going to do is rip out one of those. Uh, I'll probably rip out one of the uh, the wood camps and replace it with a siege workshop and just make do. But I'm hoping we can take the wall either this time or the next. And it feels like we're making really good headway this time. Obviously could be wrong, but that wall is melting. We've lost a dude. Like, I want to believe we can take it. Okay, it's done. Okay. Here, I should probably hit the archers. There we go. I guess I might as well eat some fish. If there's any de defenders, or if there's anybody that comes back. Let's see. Or comes back or comes after me. Oh boy, this is why we needed siege engines apparently. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll probably have to be the, the first and only line of defense here. Most of these guys are pretty pretty much in trouble. I don't know what does the most amount of damage here. I'm going to snag this. Well, there's the runes I was looking for. And some chicken. Oh boy. I really did need siege engines. I feel like there should be an easier system for me to take a location. I guess I'm gonna start working on this one. Interestingly enough, no enemies seem to be spawning. We might actually be weirdly in luck that maybe I wasn't supposed to capture this. Or, I mean, ultimately, this is a very, this is like the Kickstarter demo for this, which ended like a while ago. So, I'm not really expecting this to be indicative of what the final game is going to be like, but I think it's close. I, I think it's got exactly what I'm generally looking for. Uh, it, it takes a lot of the elements of what I liked about Kingdom. 
but remixes it with kind of its own flair. Uh, deeper RPG mechanics and some other things. Okay. Uh, let's finish breaking this. Actually, I'm just going to let them go. If we lose them, we lose them. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to retake this for some money, but we're going to we're just going to go recruit some more dudes. If all of a sudden I see my population dip down to zero, I'll know that I done goofed. But I think I could probably snag a couple of new uh, new guys just to make this this go much faster. Plus, we can also get some. Uh, we have a couple of rune stones. I can, I can make uh, make use of that. Learn skills. Okay, first and foremost, I want to take a look at economy, storage capacity, more rations with you, extra fish production. Okay, so that's faster ships, more loot, and then we have two more. Let's see, what about minions? I don't know. Let's see. I have two runes. I think we need navigation. Obviously, we do not have enough runes for more. There we go. That's armor. Looks like we can actually level up our attack speed in a bit. Attack. Okay. Just need a smidge more fish. Attack. Okay, come on, smidge of fish. There it is. Okay. Attack. It looks like we're good. I haven't lost anybody. I'm sure that town's gonna take forever to capture. I just wanna see what happens if and when I do. Like, do I get to use it as a secondary base? Does it effectively double all of my production? Uh, is this so totally scuffed that I'm truly not meant to do any of this? I don't know. One way or another when it comes down to it, I do think this is great and is exactly what I'm looking for. I would say this is the kind of game that I hope the developer adds multiplayer to just because playing Kingdom in co-op with Shell was an absolute joy and it'd be really fun to play this game in multiplayer as well, you know, having, uh, even potentially having like extra roles or specialties a little bit. But I also recognize that that probably isn't that viable. We'll see. Okay. Well, it's certainly faster with the whole crew. I was getting it done on my own. But not that fast. The sad thing will be if I can't actually claim any of this for myself. At which point it's just kind of like, well, I guess we go back and just wait for money, though I will say it does look like the enemies just will not spawn any more units because I took this. So, uh, I don't know. I Next time for sure I'll just be patient and get siege engines. Because the second the second lumber yard is nice, but I don't think it's actually really, uh, really helping us as much as I'd like. I wish surplus resources were sold as gold. I would solve so many problems. Okay, there it is. I'm take it for myself. Old Olofsson, what a surprise, but only the gods know whether it will be pleasant a pleasant one. Pray tell what brings you to beautiful England. Don't act so clueless, Valgard Varenson. You know why I'm here. You killed my father and kidnapped Raja. You're vindictive, I see. It appears your anger leaves no room for any form of honorable greetings. 
You're not honorable. You're not an honorable man. I ask you once again, where is she? To be perfectly honest, I don't know. I delivered her as I was instructed. I received my reward and haven't seen her since. Delivered? Who did you give her to? If I told you, they would kill me. You must understand that I'm not... I'm quite attached to my wife. Wait. Rude. Huh. Okay. So I think we're up to T2 here. And we have we have places to build. Cool. Uh, so I guess I'm going to build that siege workshop. Oh, we, we have fast travel. Nice. Fortunately, the next level of Mead Hall is expensive. How the hell did I ever get enough money for that? Travel here, current location. Okay. And I should probably get an archery range. But no. Oh, each of these camps also adds extra people. So fire catapult, catapult, and a ram. Their extra hit points, range, and attack speed. But they are expensive. Well, do we just stick it out and say... Okay, mead hall upgrade required. Stick it out and just see how close to the end we can get. I think the battering ram would be better, but I think the catapults are going to be more effective. Uh, let's see. Ah, eh, you know what? Let's build the archery range. Okay. So, flaming archer. But they're more expensive. Attack speed, range, armor. Give him both of those. We're mostly waiting for the siege engines to get finished. Because I think once they're done, then we can charge ahead. Well, do we just stick it out for the long haul, see if we can clear this? I mean, they're not currently going for me, so it doesn't seem like it's that ridiculous of an option. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we want the attack speed, but that is pricey. Or we'll find out that siege engines are completely useless, and this was a total waste. Also, no enemies are spawning. Like, I could... I There's a very real possibility I've broken this demo. Oh, no, there they come. Took them long enough. It's like one dude, too. I? Oh, okay. Okay, catapult's done. Oh, do my dudes have to actually use it? Uh, alright, that's a little rough. I'll wait for the, uh, flaming catapult. I was wondering about this. Okay, well, I mean, on the plus side, now we understand, uh, how all of this works. I'm curious if I could actually just tell them all to follow me, and then we just hang out on the outskirts and just shell them from a distance. It might be the case. We might also need specifically just uh, the shield guys to run these. I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god. Alright. It, it does pick up speed. Okay. Follow me. Follow me. Okay. Are they all going to follow me? Yes. Sick. I should probably stop, though. I think no matter what, this is going to be a little slow and a little frustrating just trying to... Holy smokes. England has seen better days. Well, let's see about the final fortress. 
and if there's anything there. At least these guys are a little bit better equipped. Actually, a lot better equipped. Well, I just mostly want to see if the... Uh, let's see if the catapults have any chance against, uh, like, walls. Because if they do, sick. If they don't, that's tragic. But yeah, let's take this and we'll just we'll just see what happens. I, I just look. I've been waiting for siege engines this whole time. I want I want to see how well they do, and if they do well at all, or if ultimately I would have just been better getting more and more dudes. Well, at least recapturing this is worth a lot of money. I'm also noticing, I think their waves are much smaller. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. There we go. Lose as little as possible, get a chest open, grab a ton of cash. I really do hope that they add some means of increasing income because I am desperate for more money, and it is hard to come by. Let's see, I guess I might as well eat a fish while I'm here. Wow, those fish are not good eats. I want to see if, if and when those catapults can do something. Okay, well... Yep. I bet if I gave them a little bit more range, they'd be much better. Alas. I, I think I would have been better off with the battering ram. To be honest. And we've already lost a guy. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to stop here. Uh, just because, while I could keep going with this, I think it would just be an exercise in frustration. And we've come to the end of our time. So, Sons of Valhalla. The demo is available now if you guys want to try this yourselves. Uh, but it's still got a long way to go before it's done done. Uh, I think it's only had, like, one update to the demo. Uh, so they're redoing the rune system. Oh. With rarities. That's interesting. Yeah, replace the old tech tree. Uh... There will be a dialogue system. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. It feels very much like Kingdom, but with deeper, more interesting kind of RPG-ish mechanics. And I'm curious to see where that goes. I would love to see more base building elements uh, and specifically the ability to make a little bit more money somehow because uh, I was bottlenecked on that in a way that ultimately was just kind of uncomfortable. But I think that's easily solved one way or another. But, uh, let's see, other things to say, music was fine, visuals were great, and gameplay was good. I, I, it's a game to look out for, and that's what I'm going to say for now. It's hard to pass full judgment because it is so early, but it's a promising start all the same. But, with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out. But for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you next, next time, there we go. And a hiccup.